Hi, welcome to Film Flush. Where good films load on top and the bad films get flushed. And now it's time for the hot button topic of this year's Oscars, the best director race. Um, the nominees are rather diverse. We have uh, old favorites, mm -hmm. Steven Spielberg, Liang, mm. or Ang Lee as they call him. Uh, we have uh, Michael Haneke, whose armor is pretty much a lock for best foreign film. I'd be really surprised and shocked if it doesn't win that. Mm -hmm. but yeah, he's a contender here as well. We have uh, Ben Zeitlin, mm -hmm. uh, indie favorite, Beast of the Southern Wild. Very just. It's a it's fantasy film. Very it's just a very unique movie. Yeah. I recommend it. If you are even interested in indie movies, just check it out. Um, and then, of course, uh, David O. Russell, who we already, already talked about. But of course, uh, a lot of the attention won't be on the race itself, but for the snubs. Uh, we have three huge snubs. All of these uh, directors, they have their films nominated for Best Picture. Mm -hmm. So it's an odd situation we have here. Catherine Bigelow, Ben Affleck, and... Uh, Quentin Tarantino weren't nominated, mm -hmm. so what's your opinion on what happened? For for me, for Catherine Bigelow, I think her Zero Dark Thirty is basically uh, uh, I, what I think is like a follow-up to her Hurt Locker. There's so many times that a director can do uh, a movie on based on similar themes. I think that the Academy didn't didn't like it because it's kind of similar to her to, to the, the her locker but do you not think it's a timely subject to talk about? It, it's timely it's serious but i think it's too soon they yeah. were she was considered a lock for to be nominated mm. for this so it was like a serious shock mm. but anyway on to the next one uh ben affleck argo yeah i like that film i was very surprised that he didn't get nominated for best best director uh why didn't he get nominated well i think for he's kind of a, a newbie director, and uh, it's it's a it's a great film, but I don't think they like him that much, probably. <laughs> but he won an Oscar before for screenwriting, and mm. this is the really good mm. film. I mean, all three of his his entire filmography mm. has been a hit so far as a director. And I just think I don't know. I think the <laughs> Academy messed up here. Yeah, probably. He really messed up. And then this question of Quentin Tarantino. I think Django Unchained is a, is a great movie, but it tramples on a lot of toes. That's that's why I think the academy didn't really want to controversy. Yeah, the use of the N word, yeah, violence. Correct. And I think, like even without those, Tarantino might not have been nominated because he doesn't really do things by the academy. Mm. He's just his own man. He's a trailblazer. He just goes about, does his own thing. Like makes a spaghetti western mm. out of every movie. Mm. <laughs> and I don't think, for me, Tarantino is probably the least surprising. I was like, if he gets in, okay. But for me, like. Those two, Bigelow and Affleck, really shocking. Just kind of criminal, actually, to leave them off. So, so who do you think will, will get your, your take on uh, Best Director? Who do you think will win? Probably Lincoln. Probably S Spielberg, yeah. If you recall, he, had, he got snubbed for War Horse mm, last yes. year. I mean, some people thought it was just a movie about a horse, so I think they had problems with that. But 12 knots. It's pretty much in everything. I think it's obvious that Akemi freaking loves this movie, so yeah, I'm probably gonna go with Lincoln. For me, my take will be I'll place my bets on Ang Lee for Life of Pi. <laughs> for Ang Lee in Life of Pi, it's directorial achievement in itself. He put out all the stops for, for Life of Pi digital paint box, 3D filmmaking, uh, everything is, 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 is an epic basically. and. I think, I really hope that the uh, Academy, the voters really vote well for him. Yeah, they do love like Ang Lee movies mm. because they often deal with like outsider characters mm. and like alienation, which are great themes for the Academy people to choose. And I mean, it's just kind of amazing Ang Lee directing like a, such a effects heavy yeah. movie. It's really surprising to see. So it might not get, uh, it might not get a nod for best picture, but, but considering the fact that Brokeback Mountain uh, didn't get best picture but got best director for Ang Lee. That's 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 history on, in itself. Yeah. He might just get it. It might swing his way. Yeah.
I think when the ceremony gets underway on the 24th February in the Dolby Theatre in Hollywood, I, I suspect it's going to be a very interesting event to watch just because of all the nominations, the, the, the surprises and the snubs. Even though Lincoln is the film to beat. Your thoughts, Lex? I'm really excited for this year. Uh, I just thought, uh, I mean, there's Seth MacFarlane hosting mm. it. That seems more like an ensemble piece to me, right? Just keep reading. The star of the new film Gangster Squad and is one of the brightest talents of her generation. Some say she's better than Meryl Streep. Who? Who, say, who says that? This is the first time I really enjoyed myself watching, watching the nominations because yeah. of Seth MacFarlane. It's yeah. just like watching a stand-up a comedy. It's just basically Family Guy yeah. and Academy Awards, mm. I think. 2012 was a much better year for film than 2011 was. And I think it shows because the fans and critics are just really outspoken and angry over the snubs. It's just too much good stuff mm -hmm. this year. So, yeah, it's really exciting. And even like the other races we did mention, like Best Supporting Actor, you have five Oscar winners basically just dueling out for one award. I think there'll be a titanic battle. Just can't wait to see it. I guess that's it from us. But wait, you know what would be really surprising? What? Abraham Lincoln winning everything. This Lincoln, the one with Steven Spielberg? No, man, the vampire hunter. And like, he just resurrects himself like a vampire and like wins everything even though he's not nominated. That, that will be a definite shocker during the awards show. And I think everyone will definitely watch that. He just goes up and throws an axe into the crowd. Yeah, that, that, that's brilliant. definitely brilliant. So that's it from us at Film Flash. And we're going to do what we should have done at the start of the show. We're going to flash the academy down. <laughs>